Oh. oh, yes. Hey, you better hurry and get in on this. What is this? Miss Franklin is selling her yard. What? Yeah, she's having a yard sale. John. No, 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 no. She said she was ending her yard sale at 4 o'clock and I could come by and take whatever I wanted. She was just going to get rid of it anyway. Was there other stuff in her yard? Uh, yeah, there were like some tables in the driveway with some antiques and clothes on it. I think she was cleaning out her attic. I have never seen so many shoulder pads and gold buttons in my life. That was the stuff she was selling. Uh, no, it is called a yard sale, Brandon, where you sell your yard. Or where you sell old stuff in your yard. <laughs> you sure? Absolutely. John! It's Miss Franklin. You never saw me. <laughs> What you can! <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But hey, you know, thank you very much. Have a great day. But, 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 huh? please. It's my first day on the job. I need to find someone who will trade with me. I just got to make a trade today. I just got to make a trade today. I just got to. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think I know someone who can help. I have a friend who has his own restoration company. They could probably use a door that's, you know, vintage. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, there you go. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Oh. <laughs> Look out, world! Here comes Murray Lowman! <laughs> it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Kellen! How's it going, friend? Not too shabby. You got a Bible story for us today? I do. Our story today comes from the book of John, and it's one of the more famous stories of Jesus in the Bible. Can you guys help me out? Absolutely. Great, because it's time for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. When Jesus crossed the Sea of Galilee, a huge crowd followed him. Oh, don't look now, Jesus. But I'd, I'd say we got company. And by company, I'd say we got one, two, three hundred, four hundred, six hundred, three thousand, four thousand, carry the one. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we got over five thousand people who followed us. Easy. Jesus said to Philip, where can we buy bread for these people to eat? <laughs> A good one, Jesus. Where can we buy bread for all these people? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Uh, oh, you, you are serious. Uh, okay, uh, I mean, Jesus, listen, suppose, suppose we bought enough bread to, to give all of these people at least one bite, just one single bite of food. Just suppose we did that. That would take like half a year's pay. I, I don't know who the budget guy is, but I'm sorry, I don't think we can swing that. Jesus already knew what he was gonna do before he asked Philip. He just wanted to see what Philip would say. It's hard sometimes to believe something can happen when it seems impossible. Now, another disciple, Andrew, he spoke up. Uh, 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 Jesus, it's me, Andrew. Uh, we found this kid. Hey, Jesus. Uh, he has five barley loaves and two fish. <laughs> you can have them. Yeah. If it'll help. Oh, I, I just don't know how far this will go with a crowd this size. <laughs> Jesus then told the disciples to have the crowd sit down. When they did, Jesus took the bread, he gave thanks for it, and he started handing it out. Then he took the fish, gave thanks, and started handing it out as well. And that's when something amazing happened. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So just pass this around. Okay. Bread? Oh. Mmm. Mm. This is good. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, would you like some? Well, somewhat, oh, yes, don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, fish? Here you go. Ooh. Bread and fish. Do you have any more, Jesus? Wow, <gasps> is this all the food I brought? Yeah. Well, do you want any more? Oh, no, I'm full. Wow. Uh, he said he's full. Jesus had just done the impossible. He had taken a small amount of food that a young child was willing to share, gave thanks, and then somehow over 5,000 people had enough to eat. And check this. After that, Jesus told the disciples to gather up all the food that was left. There were 12 baskets of food left over. Wow. I got to pack my lunch more often. The... In. Man, what an amazing story. It is. 
There was a kid that didn't have much, but he offered what he had. And Jesus was able to take that small gift and feed a giant crowd of people. Good stuff, Kellen. Thanks. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. You know, if I'm honest, I sometimes feel like Philip. If a problem seems too big, I feel like it can't be fixed. Yeah, me too. But that kid used what he had to help others and trusted God to do the rest. Yeah. Yeah. And we all have something we can use. Yeah, indeed. In fact, reveal the question. Yeah. What do you have that you can use to help others? It may seem like you don't have a lot, but you don't need a lot to help others. Mm -hmm. You can give someone your time. Mm -hmm. Maybe a grandparent needs someone to spend time with them. Or maybe you can help by standing up for someone who's being picked on or treated unfairly. Yeah, you can give clothes or toys away to kids who don't have as much as you. Yeah, lots of things. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. What do you have that you can use to help others? Thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time and hanging out with us. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes, we will. See ya! Ah. No! No! Hey, ah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Six. That one went off my hat under your face. <laughs> Redfish gives oh, you wings. No. Seven, eight. I caught two and one. Man, I only got four. I thought we were going to crush it, man. Oh, we were man. like on a roll there. Ooh. There we go. <laughs>